Alright, today we're taking a quick look at the rice fish ponds. It is spring now and slowly summer is approaching. The plants are starting to grow back and the fish are starting to come out again. So you can see right here our red color rice fish are coming out or orange you could say. In Japan we call them uh, the red rice fish. We say aka medaka which just basically means red rice fish. So let me get around and show you how some of them are looking. So this is our deepest pond. It's about 30 centimeters and the depth is around 40 to 45 centimeters tall. Yeah, I'm not not a hundred percent sure and I don't know how much uh, volume these things hold but I think it's it's not that much. It's about a, a small bucket full of water. Uh, some like this one maybe a little bit more. You can see the fish are looking really nice. So over in this uh, backyard garden, my uncle and aunt's house, uh, they don't really keep high-end rice fish. They just keep uh, rice fish that are very cheap and easy to get. And these are usually often sold as feeders here in Japan. The rice fish are used as feeder fish. If you go to the pet stores, you'll see them in bags um, sold as feeders for fish like arowanas and uh, large predator fish. So you don't really see guppy feeder fish as well as platys and goldfish too much. You see lots of rice fish as feeders which I know kind of sucks. Um, I know there's many people around the world that are desperate to get some rice fish, to get their hands on some rice fish but it's just one of the most common fish in, in Japan and it's also a very common pet. Rice fish and goldfish. So here these ones are called black rice fish. You can see they're not really like jet black but like if you go to the wild, go to like rice fields and stuff in Japan and rivers and lakes, you'll find that wild rice fish look like this. Like a grayish blackish um, goldish tone so yeah these are one of my favorite types because it's the most natural looking type of rice fish and then in here we've got a mix there's some white ones you can see a nice beautiful white one right over here look at that that looks awesome and then some black ones as well and you can see how big they are. My uncle loves to feed his rice fish, so every day, uh, about two or three times a day, he'll feed his rice fish. And then over here we've got some smaller guys. Now the plants you can see floating in here, these are water hyacinth. And during the winter, they usually die back, but because my aunt and uncle, with these ponds, they put a lid, an acrylic lid. Let me see if we have it uh, somewhere around here. We should have... I think they kept it under the deck or something. It's somewhere. I know there's got to be acrylic lids here because they use it... Oh, right there. Alright, so you see those acrylic sheets? They're quite thick acrylic sheets so that they don't bow in. See, they just place them on top of these ponds uh, during the winter months, the coldest months, uh, where we get snow and... yeah. So we leave that on, and because this area gets lots of sunlight, the plants will survive. Some of them will die because it's, it's just too cold, but the stronger water hyacinth will live and they will grow on the next year. And of course during the winter months, the plants don't grow and like make more plants. So yeah, once spring comes, the plants um, become happy, they're warmer, and that's when they start growing like mad and you can see they're already starting to grow like crazy during the winter months we didn't have this many so yeah and in the summer once these plants really get going we have to start throwing them out because it just overpopulates and look at all these rice fish they're looking so good and these ones are my favorites they just got like this bronze tone to them really like that and I think there's some white ones here too so yeah 
I, I think I, I gotta pull out some of those black ones and breed them myself. I've also got some rice fish in my side of the garden, uh, which I'll show you next time. But they're looking really nice. And then these here, there's a ceramic pot you can see here, right in the middle. And that actually has water lily in it. You can see one baby starting to come out right now. And there's probably another one somewhere in here, but... Let's see, over here you can see some babies, so the water level is a bit low on here. But you can see the, the starts of new water lilies. Those are the leaves. And yeah, if you watch my other videos of my rice fish, you'll see that um, once it starts getting a lot warmer, you'll get leaves floating on the surface. And this is a really small pot to keep water lilies, but it's really possible. And if you just get too many leaves, you just trim throw away the, the leaves and yeah you'll even get flowers growing out of these maybe I'll put some pictures up to show you guys but really nice we've got two lilies in here and we've got one over there that one's my favorite because it's got the yellow flower the yellow flower type of water lily is my absolute favorite you can see clearly I just scared the fish away but the leaves are already starting to get to the top here this the yellow type I think is fast growing so you can see we've got a ceramic pot really hard to see but whoop there goes my uncle let me give you a quick sneak peek of him and off he goes I'm not sure where he's going but he's just left the house and probably going to buy some bread but about the lilies they're so cool you can see their stems there, whatever you call that thing, and a bunch of algae as well. This is normal because it's getting so warm. It's a big change from the cold days that we had. So once it starts getting warmer, the plants just start growing and algae starts growing as well. But this will all go away on its own. We usually don't do water changes to these. But as time goes, uh, you can see the leaves start covering the top and once more of that happens it becomes shadier down at the bottom and the algae will go away on its own so it's just a balance and you really don't need to worry about stuff like this it's just nature doing its thing so yeah really if it's too clean then it looks unnatural and the fish also don't like it so these are fish that live in the wild in Japan, so they can handle all four seasons. You've got spring, summer, uh, autumn, and winter. I'm just noticing this, but the rice fish are already laying eggs. Uh, May and June are the months that rice fish are most active in reproducing. And right here, I just pulled out some algae. I could feel the eggs on this. All right, right here, we've got the macro lens out, and you can see a bunch of tiny little eggs scattered on this hair algae really cool so i think i'll go ahead and take this strand of algae and dump it in this blue one over there so that we get the babies to hatch and all this algae that i threw away there's probably eggs on that but yeah i should have checked before i threw it away but these guys have plenty more eggs and they should be laying again. I probably could find a bunch more, like in the roots of this water. Yeah, I can feel some for sure, so... Yep, they're laying a bunch of eggs and I'll definitely update you guys once again in the near future. Show you guys the babies. And... Yeah, does my uncle want to say hello? He want to say hello? Say something! That's it. Alright, the uncle told us to look at this. So look at his beautiful Volkswagen. He just polished, waxed it. And it's looking so good right now. So clean, so shiny. But take a look at this. Just after waxing, he gets this spider web and just catches all these bugs. 
And he says the spider always does it on the same area, so he just wanted to point that out and yeah. Thought you guys might like that. I hope you enjoyed this short little update of our rice fish. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.